Hello everyone, my name is Bokis. Welcome to my channel. Sorry it's been a while. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, Bokis Signatures. Our Facebook group is Sewing Innovations. Try to search for it. Today's tutorial will be on how to make this half after. Looking at it, can you see it's so beautiful and very, very easy to make? Can you see layers of half? Can you see? I'll teach you how to do that. It's very, very easy. You need about three and a half yards to make this, depending on how tall. You have you can make it so three years, three and a half maximum. It's okay. So right now let's go back to our work team. I will be using the same fabric. So here I have three and a half yards. So now, and it is by 60 here. This is the length and this is the width. This width is by 60. Like African fabric comes by 45, but this is by 60. So when folding, we fold this way along the width. Can you see that? So this will be how you fold it. So since I have three and a half here, so what I will do after folding it this way, then I'll just make sure and fold it again this way. Make sure it's equal. So you need your floor length measurements to determine the amount of fabric you need. So this is how I will fold it and place on my table. Right now the fabric has been folded and neatly adjusted. So now the next thing now is for the neckline and then the shoulder line. So all I have to do now is to insert that 3 inches, 8 inches standard we are known for. So this is 3 inches because I'm using a chiffon fabric so it will be here and there. So this is the 8 inches. Can you see that? So from here now, from the 8 inches standard I will just come down by one inch. Can you see that? Then use my straight ruler to connect from that point to this point. So now we have the shoulder slant. So all you have to do now is to extend this line straight down. Do that carefully. You have to be very careful because of the I'm using so this is the extension of the shoulder slope. So the next thing now is to insert your shoulder measurement. How about your shoulder measurement? So for this tutorial, I will just maintain eight inches. Normally I use eight and a half, for, but for this I'm not adding sleep, so I'll maintain this eight inches. So now you have to note when sewing. You will sew two inches from whatever neck width you are using down to this place. So from the eight inches point, just add two inches to it. So this is where your sewing has to stop because this side will be open. So after doing that now, I will now decide which neckline I want. The width, I'll make it five inches. So this is three inches. So the remaining two inches will be along the slope. Now this is my five inches neck width. Remember this is my shoulder, half of my shoulder measurement. And I want the measurement to stop here. So now this is my neck width. So I'll be sewing from this place down to this place because this place will be open. I'll go over that again. This is my neck width of five inches. This is half of my shoulder measurement. And I want my sewing to stop at two inches after my shoulder measurement. So I will sew from here, the neck width, down to this point. Now let's go to the neck depth. I will take a neck depth of three and a half inches. Then take my hand pole to do that to just join it up. I want like a good neck. It's because of the fabric I'm using, you're not making it easy for me. So this is the neck there. So the neck has been done. So before I cut it out, I want to mark out the curve. So all I have to do now is to pull this up. But before I pull up, you need to take the measurement from the nape of your neck down to your hip. So from the nape of my neck to my hip is 24 inches. So I'll make this into a straight line. Then I need the measurement from the nape of my neck 
neck to above my knee, which is 36. So I'll just add extra one to it. That is 37. Above my knee, 36. So I'll just make it 37. So I'll make this also into a straight line. So now this is from the nape of my neck to my hip, then down to above my knee measurement. Then I'll have to move this up so as to continue. So now looking at this, so now this place has to be smaller than this part because of the curve. So what I'll do now is quarter of my hip measurement. My hip measurement is 44, quarter of that is 11. So to that 11 inches, I'll just add extra two inches to that because this is an elegant dress you don't want to walk too fast so it's better you wear this on heels so 11 plus 2 that will make it 13 inches so this is what i have so this will go straight down 13 inches then i take my ruler and then draw a straight line we will still alter it, but let's just. So I haven't done that now. So what I will do now is just get the midpoint between your hip and. Okay, here I have 13. So half of that is six and a half. So now from there, I'll just make a curve. Connecting to this part. The quarter of my hip measurement was two or three inches depending on how you want it. Can you see that? Just make a curve and then connect this line. So we are done with the lower part. We are through with this curved line. So you won't want to start sewing from here because if you start sewing from here all down, you will have so much opening that will open below your hip. But we still want to have it upward and then still want the cow to form. So what you do in that case is this. From this shoulder slope, just measure about 10 to 11 inches. So this is 11 inches down here. After that, then I will come from this line straight down to here or just even here. So this is what I will have from here because I don't want to sew and have this sharp edge here. I want it to be curved. So this is what I will have. Can you see that? So the next thing now is to cut it out. So I'll just cut from here. So my sewing will be from here. Because this will be open, by the time it drops, it will be closer to the hip, which is still okay. Now I'll just move this a little bit up make it easier for me to cut. of the fabric I'm using. We will move this and move it down to trim up the selvage. So now after doing that, just pick up this and then notch. So you will know where to start sewing from. So with this notch, I will know where to start sewing from. The next thing now is to start cutting around the neck. right now because 
I'll just take my chalk to make this part prominent. So I'll start sewing from this edge and stop here. You can just give it a notch to, to know where to stop. So the next thing now is to sew. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? So the next thing now is to join the shoulder and then you just take in about half an inch of the neckline after sewing the shoulder. Do not forget, we will stop here at this notch. We'll stop at this notch here and here and then fix the neckline. Looking at it, I've taken the neckline and then the shoulder line. So the next thing now is to join the sides before I finish up the sleeve. So looking at it. So remember, we notch where we want to start sewing. So this is it. So I'll start sewing from here, following the curve till the lower part. From this point, I'll start sewing all through. After sewing the side, this is what it looks like. It's really taking shape. And you see here the lower part. So all I have to do is to hem this and then finish the sleeve. Let me just show you the sleeve. Can you see? I stopped here. So all I have to do now is to finish this sleeve, just taking half an inch all through, and then I'll give it a good press and show you how it looks. This is the result of the cow captain. Can you see it's so nice? Try to make yours. Can you see the, the, the cow forms? Just make yours. Tell your friends about it. Subscribe. Can you see the cow form so well? So just make sure you. Make